That was some party. Ugh, I need to take a bath and wash my hair. And it's always left to me to clean up afterwards. I'm sure no one will miss a broken salt shaker. Always better to play safe. Particularly on this superstitious island. Hi, I'm Sunny. You should use your new name, Inaru Karaya. About that, I should save it for special occasions, don't you think? So, what's your name? I am Senora Dulce Flores, but you can call me Dulce. I haven't seen you before. Do you live nearby? I live with my daughter, Carmen, just across the square. Carmen? Oh, I need to find her. Do you know where she is? Uh, she could be anywhere. You know what youngsters are like. If she ever listened to me, she wouldn't be pining away for that Miguel. Don't you like Miguel? He's a nice enough boy. But as I tell my Carmen, you can't spend your life waiting for someone who's going to be locked up for all eternity. I think it's so romantic. And when did romantic ever give me beautiful grandchildren? She should have married Chief Bajari when she had the chance. Where's Vasco? Do I look like I care? All he ever wants is for me to clean for him. Isn't that your job? Oh, that's right. Pay a woman to do all the dirty work, but never so much as hint that marriage might be possible. You want to marry Vasco? Who wouldn't? A man with his own business and a large property is a great catch. You could ask him. That wouldn't be right. Marriage is for the man to propose. <sighs> Remind me to tell you about emancipation sometime. I find that eating plenty of fruit clears that up in no time. Having a pig in one of the rooms must make it difficult to clean. I don't clean in there. I told Vasco that if he wants that room cleaned, he can do it himself. Good for you. It must be bad enough cleaning up after the pigs who drink in here. Do you get on with Miguel's father, Senor Guzman? Now there's a smart man. He'd be rich, too, if one eye didn't bleed him dry. Do you know where I could find somewhere to stay? Not with me. I have a hard enough time with one moody girl in the house. See you later. still have those 20 doubloons to spend. I'll visit the dress shop and buy that beautiful dress. Man, what I wouldn't get for a pair of designer sunglasses. Here's a notice from One Eye. When I discover... Oh, there's another notice here. Sunny is now welcomed into the community of Forgotten Island with a special name of Inaru Karaya. It's like I've been adopted! Oh, I hope that doesn't mean Mom and Dad will cut me out of their will. Olivia, it's a beautiful day. It certainly is, thanks to you saving the island. 
I'd like to buy a dress like the one you have in the window. I hope you have 20 doubloons. Who do you think I am? I could afford this dress any time I wanted. So why didn't you pay yesterday? Here's the money. Now, can I please have one of those dresses? Of course. It's always a pleasure doing business with a woman of means. Your dress will be ready in about six months. Uh, yeah, right? If I pay now, I want the dress now. This is a special dress that uses a uniquely woven fabric. It will be six months until the cotton is harvested and the fabric made. I'm not waiting that long. I'll take the one you have on display. That's impossible. The dress in the window has already been promised to Carmen. If it's Carmen's dress, why is it still in the window? It's her wedding dress, and I'm holding on to it until she can get married to Miguel, the banker's son. He's locked up in the stockade. If he ever gets released, the cotton will have been harvested, and you can make other dresses. That's certainly true. And it would be bad business to turn down such a deal. Thank you so much. Can you deliver it? Of course. Just tell me where you're staying. I... Oh, dear. Hold on to the dress until I get back to you. I'm worried I may end up sleeping with a pig. a proper place to stay. Perhaps Juan knows of somewhere. Is Juan in his office? I'm looking for somewhere to stay, and wondered if he know of anywhere. I'd offer to put you up, but my cat doesn't take very well to strangers. Oh, you have a cat? Well, at the moment, he's missing. Oh, you put up the notice in the square about the cat called Demon? That's right. He wears a blue collar with a small bell attached. I'll let you know if I see him. Bye. Hi, Juan. Do you know anywhere I could stay while I'm on the island? You can stay in my home. Oh, I'm not sure. I mean, you're really nice and everything. But is it really appropriate? Don't worry, I'll sleep here on the couch. Well, that's different. It's such a cool thing for you to do, Juan. It's the most luxurious house on the island, too. Here, you'll need a key. How do I get there? Exit the town south to the jungle, pass by the cloister, then take the coast path. You can't miss it. like an old chapel. There must have been someone on the island who performed marriages once. This machine looks like those old drawings I saw in art class last year. Leonardo da Vinci, I think. 
It looks like it's held together with old piano wires. Who'd have thought a pair of pliers could come in so useful? There's no reason to do that now. So this is where Juan lives. From the way he described it, I thought it was going to be a palace. I hope all his ideas of luxury aren't on the small side. Disappointing. My bedroom at home is bigger than this. Wait, that sounds so ungrateful when Juan has let me his house. Hi, Sunny. What do you think of the old place? I'm a little lost for words. <laughs> you call this luxurious? Where are the walk-in wardrobes and the vanity table? Where are the sunken bath and the ensuite facilities? What do you mean? No one else has a bath in their house. <laughs> That's the bath? It certainly is. Not everyone can bathe whenever they like. I've even been known to take two in the same month sometimes. Honestly, Juan, you really need to get your ass in gear. If you're to turn this island into a top resort. Ass? In gear? Your hotel needs to be fit for a king. Polished floors and deep pile rugs. Balconies with deck chairs. Massaging loungers. Oh, and of course, you need to install a proper electricity supply. Electricity? Well, I'll figure that out later. Right now, I need some privacy so I can take a bath. I'm beginning to smell like I slept with a pig. Oh, of course. I mean, I leave. Hmm, I'm not sure about bathing in this barrel. What if I get splinters in my ass? I guess I haven't much choice, though. These pipes must supply the water. I should have made Juan explain the plumbing before he left. Wait until I see Juan. A barrel in the ground is not a sunken bath. There are no faucets to get the water running. I need to figure that part out before I can take a bath. <laughs> Judging by this painting, he loves himself as much as he claims to love Morgan. You'd think he came from L.A., he's so vain. to it. It's the old-fashioned type that's worked with a handle, which appears to be missing. Oh, there's no water to pump. Besides, the handle is missing. Sure, this is the best of souvenirs, but no one should miss it. Juan is wasting his time locking the door if he leaves the window open. Now it's more secure.
This isn't very safe. I need to make sure Juan understands the meaning of all sweet facilities. Oh my god! I'd rather go behind a bush. Oops! <sighs> Seems that going behind a bush will be my only option now. I know this sounds silly, but I'm sure I see this seagull everywhere I go. <laughs> Way cool! Hmm. I need something to keep the pipe in place. Set to dumb blonde after all. <laughs> Way cool. I fixed the bamboo pipes. I only have to fill the water tank now. Pretty cool. I should go on pumping. The water's almost ready. That should be enough for me to take a bath. Now, I just need to heat the water inside the water tank. Chop the log into smaller pieces. Matches on their own don't work. I need some paper or kindling. I'll take a sheet, in case anyone else needs to write a note. Thank you. 
That will help the wood catch a light. I can take a bath as soon as the water heats up. The bath's ready! At last! This is gonna feel so good. That's much better. Oh, I feel human again. Now I have somewhere to stay. I can have the dress delivered here. Olivia. Hello, Sunny. Can you deliver the dress to Juan's house, please? Why are you giving your dress to Juan? I'm not. I'll be staying there for a while. I... You know where that is, don't you? When can you deliver it? Oh, this evening. After I close up the shop. Thanks. Angelo. You said you'll help Enrico, and so far, you've done nothing. I'm sorry, Angelo. You're right. I shall try to help Enrico straight away. About time, too. So, where can I find the pit? Oh, well... If you go along the side of the mountain, you can't miss the spoil heaps. The pit is nestled among them. Thanks, Angelo. I want a word with you. That sounds serious. You should chill out. If I'd known you were going to buy that dress from Olivia, I'd never have given you the money. We had a deal. I earned it fair and square. But that was the dress in which my future daughter-in-law was to get married. Carmen is extremely upset. She knows? Oh, gee. Where can I find her? I have a note to deliver. Do you not think you've caused her enough problems for one day? Why is everything so complicated? I don't know if I should visit the pit to help Enrico, or find Carmen and deliver the note. Life was so much simpler when Ma made all the decisions. Hello, Delcy. 
Hello, Sunny. See you later. <laughs> 